is very funny. But are you yourself? You don't. You believe in God? No. Okay. Right. And I mean, what what makes you stop believing God? <coughs> because I believe you may be from coming from a Christian background or yes, maybe. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, many things, but, okay. but it's a long story. The first thing was when I was about 10 or 11. Okay. I reject, rejected Christmas and Christianity. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. When I was about 13, 14, I went with my parents to a church just for fun. Mm -hmm. And the priest was saying like, God forgive us our, our sins and, and blah, blah, and sins yeah. and forgive us. Sins. I said, don't, don't do f sins if you want to be forgiven, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. so, so I think it's total bull And okay. then, as a scientist, it's a science. Okay. Planet is tiny speckled dust flying through huge space. Uh -huh. Incredible speed, Milky Way flies in incredible speed. Uh -huh. Where is the God? It's, it's, for me, God is a construct of human arrogance mm -hmm. and it's a construct of uh, power okay. to manage crowds. That's all what it is for me. Okay, all right. I mean, it's uh, very interesting that you, uh, you, I mean, you make that kind of conclusion. But when, since you say that you are, I mean, you are a scientist. Yes. Okay. I, I think, I, I believe, like, for example, like Stephen Hawking also, inside uh, his research, he did mention that, you know, I mean, he didn't call it as God, but he said that, you know, uh, if we reverse back time, right? So, it will, I mean, we will get, we will get the uh, point of singularity. Yeah. So, and he made a conclusion that something cannot come from nothing, right? And he's, he did say that some supreme power, he, I mean, he mentioned supreme power, but he didn't mention it is God. I, I agree, I understand what you're talking about, but, oddly enough, I do not believe that either. Be, okay. be, because for me, uh -huh. to believe that that from nothing mm. became everything mm. and that it eventually contracts to nothing, uh -huh. it just beyond me. So, I, I, I concluded for myself, in opinion, that space just has been always there okay. and it's probably endless or not uh -huh. yeah i don't know but okay. uh, for me it's unacceptable okay. even though it's kind of today scientifically no, no, no. top 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 opinion uh -uh. but we will never know anyway okay there cannot be god there, there is just no way the god would exist okay it's only constant of human arrogance okay if there was a god maybe not in malaysia but, but in many, many countries, you would be going, mm -hmm. plucking people by head and throwing them into space, how horrible they are, mm -hmm. how they destroyed the whole planet. God would never forgive them and never allow them to do it. So there is no God. It's just arrogant humanity destroying mm -hmm. themselves and everything alive. So, yeah. 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 Basically, just, just how, uh, what you say about, uh, you know, that humanity has destroyed themselves as well. There was also mentioned in the Quran, in chapter number 30, verse number 40. That you know, there's all these destructions. It's also caused by your own hand. Yeah. Okay. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, just now you also mentioned that uh, there's uh, no way God God exists. Yes. Okay. I I respect your view. We don't want to argue. We are, we are not interested to argue. No, no. I I I got it. Otherwise, I would have hoped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I that's, that's right. I we appreciate so much. I, I like his approach. So. <laughs> yes, thank you. It, it was you know I never stop on the street to talk. Yeah. Because I found it offensive, often, you know. But, but the way you did it, it was just right. So thank you. We, we we appreciate it. We've been here for years, uh, for more than ten years, mm -hmm. talking to people, talking to strangers like you, mm -hmm. you know, to share to them my thought that you know that created everything. When I was born, automatically we are Christian somehow. And I hate it. I think it's wrong. Parents should not Christian you until you are like 15 and you can choose if you want or not. But they do it anyway because that, that's how it goes. Mm. It's a brainwashing which stop people be believing and seeing things. Mm. Yeah? And it's the same in any religions. That you, you don't need any religion to be a good person. Yeah? I can agree with you. So, so, so basically, you don't need religion. If it's part of your culture, which you like, which you enjoy, fair enough. When you talk about the, the, the brainwash itself, I agree with you, okay? This war is about uh, who is spreading the propaganda, oh, yeah. who is doing the indoctrination. Absolutely. Now, I'm not sure either you will agree with me or not, that people who do not believe in God are also based on indoctrinations and propaganda. Without the indoctrinations and propaganda, they will not come up to this kind of belief. I love that. So people who don't believe to something which doesn't exist and you can prove it are in On both sides are being, I have, there's a the indoctrination. As you say, if I quote you correctly, you say that, you know, you can become a good person even without having a religion. Absolutely. Okay, although I might disagree on the part that you do not need religion, 
we, we can discuss it later. Because why? For us as a Muslim, we already believe that when God created us, there is an inclination, what we call as a fitra, an inclination towards good. God created you. What about all the proofs about evolution? We have no problem with evolution if you were to talk about this, but how you have to believe in you that is evolution. No, but the evolution, you will still have to come back to the single cell. Correct? Okay, yes. You still have to come. That's why. Oh, the, the God created the, the initial no, single no. cell. Regardless, I have okay. a, a lot of discussions with uh, some people from the scientist background, but I say, okay, we can go to the technical terms. But you see, for me, God is fair. God do not require you to become a scientist in order to believe in Him. There must be a simple proof for you and me in order to understand that He exists consciously without us buying into the, all the indoctrinations that's happening around the world right now. <laughs> now, for me, I have no problem up until a certain extent to accept evolution theory because mm -hmm. human beings, animal creations, we evolve. Mm -hmm. We have no problem. In fact, I'm not sure, Eddie, being a biologist, I'm not sure, Eddie, you agree with me or not that, in fact, evolutions do not disprove the existence of God because you still need the first self to exist to begin with. That's true. Right? Now, coming to that, I mean, I, I can sense that you are someone who are so humble that we can agree that there is something that we do not know that started or created in another way, that first self, in order for it to evolve. We won't, but uh, we can, no, we can, either, we can either, leave it as it is. Either we are able to, but still we can say that there is a probability, like you say, we cannot be sure that God doesn't exist. Like all the scientists being very humble nowadays, that when they say that this universe, the observable universe, why do they say observable universe? They did not say this is the only universe. No, they say observable because they know based on our human limitations, this is the things, this is the technology that can bring us as far as we can. Just because I do not know what is out there, I will say nothing is out there. Okay, so likewise, I, I would leave it there. Yes, it was nice talking to you guys. Thank you very much. May God bless you as well. It was very, nice. So much. very nice talking to you. Nice thank, you. thank you so much. Have a nice day.